Praise is what I do, saints. It's Sister with a Testimony, and our topic for today is counterattacking abandonment through prayer. On our last video, we defined abandonment. We found out that the spirit of heaviness, the spirit of divination, the spirit of perversion, and the spirit of death were all behind abandonment issues. Today, as we launch our counterattack in the spirit realm, when we pray, you will receive deliverance as you believe and then receive Yahuwah's engrafted word. We will come against these spirits associated with abandonment and we will cut the ties. We will absolutely grant them no access from here on out and we will see the power of God working in our lives. Saints, each of these spirits must be forcefully removed through prayer. You cannot play with these spirits. You have to find them, define them, defy them, cast them out, and stop associating with them. Once you are delivered, saints, you will be filled with the spirit of Ruach HaKodesh, acceptance, love, purity, holiness, and the resurrection life and healing, all in Yahushua HaMashiach's name. As we pray, saints, remember to ask the Lord to send you your Luke, your Mark, and your Timothy. In the scriptures, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 11 through 18, well, we're going to start in 10, we're going to start in 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How about we start in verse 9 and read through verse 18. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. And this is the Apostle Paul speaking to Timothy. For Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world, and has departed unto Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia. Titus unto Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with you, for he is profitable for me to the ministry. And Titius have I sent to Ephesus. The cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus, when you come, bring it with you and the books, but especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. Of whom thou be aware also, for he has greatly withstood our words. At my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray, Yahuwah, that it may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might fully be known and that all the Gentiles might hear and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever amen saints you can see the apostle Paul was abandoned Jesus was abandoned it's time that we depended on the Lord himself and not men, not women, not organizations, not governments. Put your trust and faith in the Lord. Be saved, sanctified, set apart for his use. Repent. If you want to be delivered, you got to repent and you got to forgive other people. Otherwise, click off because you're not going to get delivered unless you're willing to do it God's way. Saints, we have this in clear writing form in the word of the Lord. The Apostle Paul tells us adamantly, the Lord shall deliver me. Set your heart, mind, will, and emotions that the Lord will deliver you. One other scripture 
If you will look at Psalm 27, 10. Psalm 27, 10. This should really, really tell us, wow, Lord, we really only have you. Psalm 27, 10. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Verse 11, teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. 12, deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, such as breathe out cruelty. Verse 13, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And verse 14 sums it up, saints. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. He will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Father God, we launch this counterattack in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. The blood of Yahushua Hamashiach is against you, Hasatan. The blood of Yahushua Hamashiach speaks greater things than the blood of Abel. And we will no longer stand for heaviness, perversion, division, and divination in our lives spirit of death where is your victory where is your sting because we have been given victory over you father god in the name of yahushua hamashiach i bind and cast out the spirit of heaviness the spirit of perversion the spirit of divination and the spirit of death all hiding behind abandonment. And I command you to leave in Jesus' name. I loose the spirit of the fear of the Lord upon you in a greater measure. I declare and decree this day your Mark, your Luke, your Timothy has already been placed in your path. The Lord is revealing them to you and you will have support that you need. Father God, I loose spirits of love power and a sound mind to this individual fill them with ruach hakadesh the spirit of holiness father god i ask you and i thank you and i praise you that you fill them with acceptance you fill them with love and purity and holiness father god i declare and decree in the name of yahushua hamashiach resurrection life and healing, inner healing, come into you now. All forms of abandonment must flee in the name above all names, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I praise you, Lord, and I thank you. Father God, I ask you to send them peace now in Jesus' name. Lord, let their Mark, let their Luke, let their Timothy show up even today unexpectedly, Father God, and give them encouragement. Father God, remind them that when their father and their own mother, their own father and mother abandons them, you will be there for them. You will deliver them. According to what Paul said, it is the Lord that delivers us. I speak that it is the Lord that delivers us in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus hides you, protects you, and keeps you. The blood of Jesus reconciles you, restores you, and completely and totally empowers you. Be filled with the Holy Spirit, for greater is He, the Holy Spirit in you, than he that is in the world. You have been given every spiritual blessing, and you have overcome by the blood of the Lamb, and you will continue to overcome by the blood of the Lamb, the word of your testimony, and not loving your life unto death. Saints, you have been delivered. You have launched a counterattack against abandonment, and you are free forevermore. Walk out your deliverance. Walk out your salvation with fear and trembling, and be blessed 